Hello uh, everyone, Maki Snowman here. I want to just talk about my thoughts on a game I played recently and as I take a break because uh, I'm not a man, uh, just, just something up with me for some reason. But, anyways, Phantom Force. Uh, it's a game I actually did play a good amount back then, but to take a huge break from it, so. Even so, I'm still not good at this game at all anyways, regardless, so... Yeah, take my opinions all with grain of salt, but let's get into it. I... Yep. Definitely the... One thing that's really stand out to me about this game when I first play it is definitely the production value. I don't know, it's just... feel uh, It's just weird to play a game that feel. Uh, I guess... Uh, during that time in Roblox, it just... It feels special to play a game that feels like, um, like other game, like a uh, generally actual games. It's def, it's just make it stand out. I feel like during that time, because I don't think I really play. Uh, I at least from what I can remember during that time, I don't think I really play any game that's really like high quality like this. So it's so yeah, Fans Force just definitely hit me with that. I guess you could say. And, <clears throat> and one thing sure it has a lot of variety of weapons, so that's great. Lots of for a gun. Oh, actually, yeah, actually a lot of variety of weapons. Scorpia, tons of different guns, even secondaries. Um, some yeah, also all come out melee's weapons, and even recently with grenades. So that's really. So yeah, you will bound to, definitely for sure. You will bound to find a gun that's with benefits your place up for sure. And there's all different types of gun and all that. Of course, there's multitude of like shotguns and snipers. So again, and along with the fact there's attachments to help with that, and that also you could change ammo title. Again, you will find something that will fit your play style or something you would you know enjoy it, you you know from time to time. So definitely for sure. Oh, uh, and generally, it does have something that make it, you know, feel or make newbies more comfortable playing the game. I mean, for one thing, even though you're losing, you will gain some, at least something meaningful, and you can still play the game. So winning and losing the game on um, page is just, although, mm, I'm sorry. Even obviously, you know, competitive obviously. Uh, and someone like me uh, having issue with winning, losing and sometimes with this game. It's on paper, I mean, it's not really that meaningful. I mean, yeah, if you win, you win a case or a key, but it's, there's a lock and all that. So, yeah, either way, you will gain something meaningful throughout playing the game. So, just as long as you're going for objective and just be active and, you know, do your best, you know, to take down the enemies and all that, you will. You will uh, gain XP, which you get credits, uh, get amount of credits, and lock new guns. So yeah, just it will be fine. I'm just uh, so yeah. I just have all the things. So yeah. And speaking of, and also yeah, low rank guns is really good. It doesn't feel crap at all. So that's really great. You can still compete with them. It's just great that you know it doesn't feel like a pay to win game, even though there's microtransactions in this game. It doesn't feel like you had to buy those, so that's and that's one of you for sure. All rank guns, you could still do well with them, and I appreciate it. So, our rule is so yeah, really good positive, but it's definitely uh, it's a problem I have with the game. Although there's some, I think few of them will be nitpicks, but anyway, I'll get this right away. Even though they had some things that newbies will be appreciate, like new players appreciate, or I don't know why you keep saying newbies, but anyway, it's definitely not beginner friendly, and that's just because it lacks some kind of MMR, <coughs> sorry, MMR like system. There's no rank. I'll, so yeah, you're bound to face a player that is definitely way better than you, and considering how accessible I mean and that's one also gonna make it is pretty accessible games and it's on Roblox so yeah and you can turn off shader all that so so what it, so yeah either way you should be you know, able to play this game run finally but overall yeah it's not all uh, so yeah it you will bound to face a lot of players that is really good you can honestly put a lot of time into this game so yeah it's definitely gonna suck for new players 
who just got a trick for sure. It does feel like you had to play, you know, other, like play the amount of shooting games in order to really get comfortable playing Phantom Force. So this is in my eyes. But fortunately, at least from what I see, uh, when look browsing through the server browser, an uh, in-game uh, server browser, a rank system is on a workers some kind. So if it's that's the case, then I'm definitely looking forward to that. I think I think for me though, I will go back to the game once the rank mode is on, uh, is available. Just for sake, so that way I can comfortably play the game for sake, since I suck at this game. But yeah, so that's the thing. And just, and I think some other problem I have is definitely gonna be a little nitpick. I'm not really big fan of the case and key system. Honestly, it's free to play games, so they gotta have some kind of ways to get you playing games or, you know, get money or whatever. But the case, uh, it's. Eh, I mean, obviously, this good thing though, generally, uh, ranking, you know, just getting credits through ranks is not too bad. Uh, if obviously it gets harder as you keep playing the game, but yeah, I, I, I would keep playing the game, obviously, keep increasing ranks, but yeah, generally, it's not too bad, so it's so at least it's not, you know, at least kind of justify the system, uh, but. Yeah, and just the fact that you cannot open cases just because you don't have the appropriate key and all that, and the fact, uh, and also you cannot, you know, or vice versa. So, so it's pretty annoying, especially since you get those randomly. So I just hope that you get a matching case and key in order to open. And some, obviously, there's, and unfortunately, it's just only skins, and I glad you could sell them if you want to get credits. So that's other means to get credits at least. If, but even so. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Even so, the fact, oh, you know, you will get basically something like 30 credits. Is, is eh, eh, just not like it. And again, it's just an epic, not too big deal, but it's just something I think could improve. Another thing, though, is I think it feels like map specific, but you could get spawn kill pretty easily. Uh, I get, it, it just feels like map physics, like, or depend on a player or something, but yeah, I, not too big fan. I get not too big deal on a grand scheme of things, because you get back in action pretty quickly anyway. You, it's not like, uh, you know, once you uh, kill, you have to spectate for the whole game. You, know, you can still keep playing the game, but it definitely feels annoying. It feels, I don't know, it feels kind of cheap, I guess you could say. Well, it's not the case, but again, it's just block bait. I, I, don't, it's just, I don't know if spawn protection will solve it, really, but and I'm pretty sure there's complication with that. But yeah, it's just an, again not too big deal, but it's just something that annoys me. So that's it. But yeah, it's a solid game for sure. Phantom Force is yeah, it's just a solid game. I how I, I wouldn't really recommend for new players just because how hard it is to get into the. Uh, just yeah, hard. You know, okay, I don't know why I said it, but yeah, generally though, it, there's all obviously it is pop, uh, relatively popular. So yeah, yeah, there will be players as just out class you by a mile. So it's gonna be tough. But if you have some experience, uh, experience, yeah, go ahead. I would recommend it. It's pretty once you able to have the necessary skill set for this game. I feel at least in my eyes. You can still enjoy a game. Heck, even if you don't have it and you don't mind those, if you could, if you don't mind dealing with a player that's better than you or something, or maybe you're lucky enough to be so uh, in the server that is not like that's about the same level as you or something like that. Yeah, go ahead. By means, yeah, just enjoy the game. So yeah, it's it has problems. Uh, obviously, you know, some uh, big problem is obviously a lack of MMR in my opinion. But yeah, the fact is game dress and all. Great, and I'll say, oh yeah, for one more thing. Obviously, it's easy to get one tap in this game, so that's also something that would annoy a player as well. But you know what? So yeah, it's a pretty enjoyable game, although it has some few parts. So yeah, it's, and it's pretty interesting to see the game like this in well, Roblox of course. So yeah, that's it. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and you guys have a lovely day.